Hey guys, Leslie here. Today I will show you how I made this super easy, awesome looking spindle. I will have the complete list of materials right underneath this video. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to start out by tracing the circular wooden uh, decorative piece that you see here on a piece of paper. Then we're going to cut it out with a pair of scissors as you can see here. And the reason we're going to do this is we're going to need to find the center of the circular wooden piece. So fold your paper in half and then in half again. And that middle section right there, that's the exact center of the, cir of the circular wooden piece. So mark it with a pencil or a marker and you're good to go. just make sure you mark it thoroughly because then you can't see it. Um, always use protective eyewear and um, now it's time to drill the little hole. Now take the decorative uh, floor de lay or however it's pronounced and place it on top, or on top of the wooden circular piece and mark it like such. We need to do this to find out where exactly is it that we have to drill the hole in this little piece. Now you can drill the hole in the little decorative wooden piece and it should look something like this. Don't worry about how it looks because we can sand this down and can make it look nice. I used a pair of scissors to cut off all the little splintery wood ends and a nail file. You can also use sandpaper. Once you have it all sanded down, now we go to the handle part and what you do is you need a little um, wooden dowel and a hook and I love this because you don't need that much force to uh, drill it in. You don't need to do any kind of drilling in there. All you have to do is screw it on like you see. And it should look something like this. And now we're ready to assemble all of our pieces. Place some glue at the bottom of the wooden decorative piece and put it on top of the circular wooden piece. Introduce the wooden dowel. Place a bead of glue at the base of the circular wooden piece and rotate to get some glue underneath. I like to make my hook about two inches. You can make it one and a half, half inches, whatever is it that you like to work with. Once you're done with that with the measuring part, put some more glue on top and you're ready to go. Once it's dry, you can decorate it and make it look however you want and you're ready to make some yarn. If you like my videos, please leave me a comment, give me a like, and don't forget to share. Thank you.